And I'm Jenny. And we're the Shady Tree Stitches. Stitches. Coming to you with a special edition, the Sassy Patch. Oh my gosh, look how big it is. It's so sassy. Lots of big things in there. So we've been patiently waiting to get it. So spoiler alert, if you don't want to see it, stop now. <laughs> we're going to show you. All right, let's unpack this crinkly. Yeah. Wow. Oops, oops, oops. One tried to escape. Okay. I'll be good. Start with my card. Uh, yes, yes. Trying to find my card. Okay. In the big paper. So the theme this time is snow. Snow. So snow. I'm expecting lots of snowflakes and white things. <laughs> we all love white things. You'd be right. Oh, we got different ones. Yours is darker than mine. Mine's darker. And look, it's sparkly. Mm. Look Very pretty. Sparkles. Very cute. And these are handmade by Juanita, who's one of the sassy devils. Yes. And I'm not going to look at their pouch contents. Mm. We have our little piece of tazzy in a snowy bag. Yours is the same snowy bag. Did you get the same piece? I've got the um, bottom right. No, I've got bottom. Uh, mine says oh, Tazzy. We can go yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to dig my other ones out. Yes, me too. All right, we'll come to the facts later. We've got to find number one. So many. I should show you, like, this is how it comes. So beautifully wrapped. Yes. All right, so am I looking for number one? Yes, please. Ah, okay. That's why that, that one is part of the making it big and then that's the other part. Okay. <laughs> Seven, twelve, eleven. One must oh one's the pattern. One, right. Okay. <laughs> you could have told me it was the pattern and then I'd know. I had to look to find which one was number one. <laughs> All right, you can open the pattern. Okay. I don't need to. I can do better than the pattern. I don't want to rip it. I came prepared. Came prepared. So lots of people have been getting their sassy pouches and we've been some of the last, which is quite funny, but there's oh, come someone on. further behind than us. Oh, I can't have the bag. It's hiding. Oh. <laughs> very cute a snow kangi here's one i prepared earlier <laughs> i can finally show people one of my model stitches yeah so that is a kangaroo skiing in amongst the snow gum trees very cool so there you go that's your, your free little pattern little snow drifts little snow drifts and things just to fill in the space and as you can see he fits very beautifully on an eight. Like you could probably fit him in a six by six, really. But I stitched him in an eight by eight. This is exactly what I stitched him on. And now I can finally take him off. <laughs> I need that Q-snap for other stitching. All right, number two, little yellow one. Yes, which is the one that when I pulled them all out, that, that was the one that tried to escape and, and go on the floor. I'm going to take a punt on needle minder. Yes, I would say so. As to what shape and what it looks like, we'll see in a minute. Oh, it's super cute. Oh, oh ready? Oops. Little yeah. cute snowman. Very I think cool. we've got the same. I think Jenny's yeah. camera just faces the other way to mine. Yes. So little snowman stuck on a snowflake. That is super cute. <laughs> Made of like Fimo or something. He's it's very ugly cute. snowman. Oh, never have too many. Needle minders. No. Now, number three is not with us yet. Right. Yeah, that's the, the one that's. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay. Number three. Oh, it's the silk for you. Ah. So it's on its way. So we'll see what that is, and you'll get to see that in a in a later edition of the video. Okay. I'll get my rubbish bag ready. Number four. I'm guessing this might be whisper thread from the feel of it. Yes, it does feel a lot like it's a rainbow gallery skein or something. 
and and the white I've seen a few different people uh -huh. using you'd be right Jen it's whisper thread that is a lot fluffier than I imagined it would be <laughs> well, I've never used it apparently it's a bit of a pain in the bum but very effective yeah. we shall see I need that on my um, maidens of the season. But um, knitting that stitches, she has already opened hers and she's very good and she doesn't tell us what's in it. Thank you, Now We appreciate that. But she and I are starting Kringles in December and she said that three quarters of this pouch is going to her Kringles. So that's interesting. Ooh. Little blue... Yeah, I, it feels like a needle vial. Huh? Feels like a needle vial. Yeah, but when it rattles, it doesn't sound like a needle vial. Oh, a bead jar then. It sounds like beads. So exciting. Oh, oh no, no, I win. <gasps> John James. Oh, no wonder she was excited. Yep. Six times. It doesn't like it doesn't sound like needles. I guess it's the plastic. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. That's lovely. You can never have too many needles. Just like you can never have too many. It's a really cool little container. Like it is a little tube mm. carried in. That's really good. Uh, six. It's a big one. I think I might know what this one is. Do you? I, th I think it's one of the birch um, red bobbin boxes. Ah, yeah, well, it's square like a book, but not heavy. Okay. We haven't got a bobbin box yet. I don't know how the girls keep coming up with new things to give us. It's awesome. I'm getting there. <laughs> it's half the parcel on my end. Which is half the fun. You are right, Jenny. It is a birch. Midi organizer box with bobbins. Yeah, you can have my bobbins, Jenny, but I'll definitely use the box. Yes, yeah, so I use, I keep my main bobbins in the big one, but then when I'm doing a project, if there's a, if there's only a few colors, then I'll just put it in the project bag. But if there's more, then I decant into one of them. Size. Always useful. All right. This is another big one. Something feels round on it. Yeah, I don't know. On a cardboard rectangle backing. Oh, yes, awesome. Ah. This is a very good neck magnifier. Oh, that's good. I'm it glad you've got a purple one. Is yours purple, purple or is yours maroon? Mine's maroon because I already own a purple one, so maroon's good. <laughs> very handy and the idea is you, you wear it down here yes. and through it but I think I find having a larger chest is where I put it here is not really where I want it trying to get it to fit amongst the boobs is a bit hard depending on the boobs so different people have different success with it but it's a great magnifier I will give it a go yep okay number eight flat very flat and, and very solid cardboard. It's a piece of cardboard. <laughs> Wrapped in beautiful paper. Oh, there's something on the cardboard. I can feel another layer. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. It's a piece of perforated paper. So you can do Christmas decorations. Yes. Yours, that color too? beigey creamy kind of color yeah mine's got some snowdrops on it already oh. no just discolored but it's all right <laughs> i just have to stitch over that bit that's yeah. a, um i wonder what that's for you could definitely do your snow king on that he'd fit yeah if you wanted to turn him into a decoration yeah it'd be a like good a, a, a hard decoration well, rather than a and you can always take the tree out if you just want to do the kangi. Yeah. Uh, no, I just I just moved things and <laughs> the needle mind is stuck to the needles already. This feels like a little ball of wadding. 
it's soft and squishy anyway. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think it's a ball of wadding. I'm just trying to say what it feels like. The thing with these unboxings, you sort of don't get the... Um... Ah, it's finishing materials. I'm right. It, it is a ball of wadding, but it's not a ball of wadding. It's a ball no. of um, like it, pom pom it, it, finishing. Pom pom. Rick Racky. Yes. For going around something. Yes. Snowball. <laughs> Yeah. That is cute. Oops. Yeah, look, I can do this with it. Don't we'll need to sort of squish the. Uh, there you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> need to squash some of my uh, pom poms back into shape. That's all right. You can do that. <laughs> well, this is definitely snowy. Yes. All right, number ten. It has something hard. And something soft. And it rattles a little bit. Just a little bit. My, my buddy just turned around and he see. He wasn't impressed that I've stolen his chair. <laughs> ah! That's why it's hard and soft. Well, yes, part of it was very soft. <laughs> Instant hot chocolate blend. With marsh mini marshmallows, which <laughs> were very soft, not feeling them. I, I feel really spongy, which makes sense. They always like to give us a little treat that's not stitching. Yes, they do. And when they can, they make it something locally made. All right, this is going to be our like project baggy thing. Oh, okay, yes. Our handmade. No, I take it back. It's not. It's a piece of ah. felt for backing your ornament. To go I, think you, your... I think you meant to stitch snow kangi as an ornament on the perforate paper. <laughs> Back it with felt and and edge it with hot snowy pom pom all the way around. I'm trying to work out how three quarters of this is going to cringle, but anyway. Well, the needles and the needle minder. And I understand the... that. Yum. If only I could eat it. Have you opened it already? Yeah, I'm faster than you. It's a cookie. Eating it yet. It's a decorated cookie. Yum. Well, someone in my family will enjoy that. Oh, yeah. Look at the cute Sassy Devil logo. I've got two yes. food things. That's cool. But first ingredient, flour. <clears throat> so, yes, not Lisa friendly. All right, and then we've got the fabric. So, as usual, pretty, pretty. Yours, the, yours is the big one, isn't it? Yes. I'll open the little one. Called frozen. I have a twenty-eight count even weave. What have you got? Two count even weave. Okay. Maybe if I turn this off. <laughs> there we go. That is super cute. It's called frozen, so it's sort of mottled blue well, and pale white. blue. Very nice. Mm. Okay, we have a question for you. Keep your one up, Jen. Yours is is oh, yep. All right, so Natalie from Knitting Nat Stitches bought it. the one you see above in Even Weave, and she bought this one that I'm going to insert here in Ada. And she wants your opinion to know should she stitch Kringles, which I will insert a picture of Kringles here in case you don't know what Kringles is, on the Ada or the Even Weave. And she's got 18 count Ada. So it's 18 count Ada. Yeah. So I'm guessing the colour is quite different because otherwise she wouldn't be asking us. So let us know below and let Natalie know what should she do, Ada or even we for Kringles. Okay. That's definitely given me an option for Kringles. Mm -hmm. I have to admit it's very nice. I get the small and a large size. All right. You're going to do the facts? Tazzy facts. Now, I think it's... Strawn. Strawn, yeah. 
Historically, Strawn has been a port to a small fishing fleet that braves the West Coast conditions and Hell's Gates. It's the nearest inhabited locality to Cape Sorrel and is literally the gateway to the Southwest wilderness as boats, planes and helicopters use, utilize Strawn as their base when traveling into the region. The hue and pine industry utilized stands around the harbour and up the tributary rivers, including the King River, the Franklin River and the Gordon River. Strawn is the only location of the, sorry, is the location of the only all weather commercial airport in Western Tasmania. Strawn Airport. Also located at the airport is the Automatic Weather Station, an important Western Tasmania weather observation point. Strawn is the base for boat trips to Sarah Island, the notorious penal settlement that garnered the reputation as the hardest, harshest penal settlement in the Australian colonies and the Lower Gordon River. Wow, if it was the harshest, it must have been really bad because there were a lot that were mm. not good. I remember Van Diemen's Land is where you got sent when you were really bad. And obviously uh, Sarah Van Island is where you yeah. got sent when you were really bad in Van Diemen's Land, you didn't go, oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Strawn is an access point to the Franklin Gordon Wild Rivers National Park, which was declared part of Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area in 1982. For several years, Strawn became the focus of a conservation campaign opposed to the proposed Franklin Below Gordon Dam. It is the home of the Round Earth Theatre Company, which conducts ex explanatory tours of Sarah Island and has also produced and also has produced a daily enactment play about Sarah Island, The Ship That Never Was, which has exceeded 5,000 performances and is Australia's longest running play. Cool. I'd like to see that if I ever get down there. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. All right. I'm too dark now. Yeah. Put my light back on now. The fabric's gone. Well, thank you for those facts, though, guys. There's your latest sassy pouch. Thanks again to all the crew and the team at the Sassy Devils for putting that together for us. Definitely. Always amazed at what they come up with. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, they haven't really doubled much up yet. No. I don't know how long we've been getting them for now. Well, uh, you got a couple before I did. And I know one of the ones that I missed was an Australia Day one. So that would have been January. So like 18 months. Couldn't tell you. Maybe someone from the Sassy Devils can comment below and tell us how long you think going for. <laughs> but yes, every two months, really good value. Strongly recommend it, guys. All right. Thank you for joining us. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.